Tots Audio Productions present Big Mark, written by Christopher. The tugboat, for its size, is the most powerful craft afloat. And the star tugs are the power behind the docks and waterways that make up the big city port. This is Tugs. Stacks won't trip us up like they usually do, sir. You can rely on us. Good, that's the determination I like to see, Big Mac. Now off you go, you two, and good luck. Now, for the rest of you. Sunshine, I'd like you to do Warrior's garbage duties while he's away. Oh, sir, do I have to? Ten cents in me, I've enough work already. And besides, the rubbish is a bit nippy at this time of year. Sorry, Sunshine, it's just for one day. And I'm sure you'll manage just fine. Oh, cheer up, sunshine. At least you don't have to work with the Z stacks today. Warrior and Big Mac would have to deal with them. Ah, you're right there. I'm sure those two will do well. Big Mac and Warrior were the strongest tugs in my fleet. Big Mac especially took great pride in his strength and used it wisely. He was just fueling himself with an extra supply of coal at the coaling depot when he and Warrior received some unwanted company. Zebedee and Zack were competing against Big Mac and Warrior for the Ironworks contract. The Zed Stacks knew how strong they were, and unlike the Star Trucks, liked to show it off. Here, do you mind shit yourself, Big Mac? We've got a contract to win. And who's to say that you two are winning? Warrior and me are twice as strong as the pair you put together. We'll win that contract fair and square. Don't count on it. Zack and me will have this job done first, with enough time left over to gloat. <laughs> yeah, like with the steel contract. I don't think they've forgiven you since you ran their steel rig into the railway bridge. Oh, you wait. Yeah, come on, Sam. There's always any more steam. We all show what we're made of. Oh, Sam starts. I'll never learn. Come on, warrior. Let's get going. I'm all fueled up and ready to... Oh! Uh, are you all right, Big Mac? Aye, probably a case of indigestion. Shouldn't have had that cold so fast. Right, let's go. Big Mac took no ill effects as he and Warrior followed after the Z-Stacks to the steelworks. But along the way, he began to feel short of breath, which wasn't like him at all. The four harbour tugs soon arrived at the steelworks, where the cranes were just finishing up on loading the Z-Stacks barges. Come on, you! Hurry up! We haven't got time to muck around! Keep your stacks on! 
I'll be ready when I say I'm ready. Hey, ABC BT, what's it with the contract? Warrior and Big Mac floated over to where the barges were already waiting. Steel pipes for Warrior and crates of machinery parts for Big Mac. They tied their tow ropes up and set off. Almost at the same time as Zack and Zebedee. Big Mac usually had little trouble pulling heavy loads such as this. But today, he felt himself struggling. Who? Oh, what's wrong? I'm not normally this weak. <laughs> oh. Are you sure you don't need help, Big Mac? You don't have good bread. I'll, I'll manage warrior. You go. I'll catch up. No, thanks. I'm sticking with you. We're in this together, remember? Zebedee and Zack began to draw level with the Star Tucks. They noticed Big Mac looking at Batty sounded and saw their chance to bring him down a peg or two. Oh dear, oh dear, something. Sounds like Big Man is having a case of engine trouble. Yeah, I've never seen him struggle this much with Batty all before. You know what that means, don't you? He's put right past it. Past it? Yeah, that's what I said. You're getting on a bit, old man. Look how much smoke you're making. This is thicker than a fox of winter. Well, do you give yourself a reason before it's too late? We don't want another time like you wearing yourself out to this end, do we? Here, you cut that out. Big Mac's doing just fine. Besides, he's got me to watch out for him. <laughs> oh, that'll make a fool. I love that, won't it? Get themselves clumsy as Joe cooking after the elders. The Zed Stack's taunting and jeering rang like bells in Big Mac's mind. He had a hefty reputation to uphold, and wasn't going to let age, or whatever was slowing him down, get the better of him. Okay, that's enough. I'm not getting old. In fact, I've never felt better. I'll give you two, old man. And Big Mac roared his engine, immediately gaining speed. But as he tried to go faster, the smoke through his stack began turning from light grey to thick black, as his engine faltered again. Worse was to come. Suffering stacks! Watch it, Big Mac! He's sparking! Big Mac! Warrior's warning came too late. Sparks flew from Big Mac's funnel and landed squarely on his trailing barge, which instantly caught fire. Oh, no. Big Mac tried to stop himself from sparking, but his engine wouldn't respond. More sparks showered on his barge, and the blaze was getting out of control. As luck would have it, Sunshine was passing with Lord Stinker, and the garbage barge saw all. Oh, I say. Is it time for the regatta again? Yeah. Oh, no. That's not a float, Stinker. It's a fire. Hold on, Big Mac. I'll go and get help. Sunshine rushed away to find Fire Tug, whilst Warrior tried to control the blaze with his own fire hose. All the while, Big Mac struggled to control his engine which gave the most horrendous coughing and clanging he had ever felt. Oh, no. Oh, dear. After the fire tug arrived and managed to stop the blaze from spreading, he towed Big Mac to Lucky's yard to have his engine looked over. Later that day, Warrior and Sunshine came to see him. Uh, hello, Big Mac. How are you feeling? Oh, my engine feels bad. Feels like I set myself on fire, too. Is everyone all right? Ah, oh, we're fine, man. Fire Tug said you were pretty lucky that you stopped your engine when you could. It could have spread otherwise. Warrior, oh, thanks for staying by me. I appreciate it. No, yeah, it's all right. That's what you do in a team, after all. But what about the contract? Did we win it? Um, uh, well, we... <laughs> No time for losers, cause we are the champions of the world. <laughs> yeah, good job, lads. You finally managed to get us ahead of the game. Hey, thanks, Soren. Oh, look, there's our old friend, Big Mac. Oi, Big Mac! Thanks for allowing us win the iron contract. Yeah, we couldn't have done it without you. Uh, now look, you stupid. Hey, don't blame us. It was your own doing, after all. We did so. Like we said before, you're not as young as you used to be. Face the facts. You're finished. There's no room for another old time in this harbour. Yeah, you can't argue the truth, you know. We've got witnesses who saw all. Looks like you're not so big. Mac, 
<laughs> Come on, boys, let's go tell Captain Zero about this. I'll let them go a bit, man. They're trying to wake me up, man. We know that. Oh, leave it, sunshine. They're right. I've never lost a contract until today. Maybe I'm getting old. Otherwise, I wouldn't stop like that. Come on, big man. Look, if it's all right, I just like some time alone. I've got something on my mind. Uh, sure thing. See you tomorrow. Sunshine and Warrior head back to the Star Dock, leaving Big Mac with a heavy heart full of despair. The Zed Stack's words repeated over and over in his mind, along with the flashbacks of the earlier disaster. You know what that means, don't you? He's probably past it. You're getting on a bit, old man. Face the facts. You're finished. There's no room for another old time in this harbor. Big Mac slept badly that night. If this were true, then there was obviously no further use for him. When he returned to work the next morning, following his repairs, he came to me with a startling decision. You're retiring, Big Mac. Whatever for? It's clearly obvious why, sir. Because of my engine. I just didn't have the strength yesterday. That's how I lost the contract for us. There's no use for a wig old timer like me. Nonsense. Big Mac, I was more concerned about you than losing the contract. You're one of the best workers in my fleet, and don't you forget it. All the same, I'll contact Lucky's and get a full report on your repairs yesterday. Now, off you go to work and take care. I'll inform you of any more news. Aye, aye, sir. Big Mac half-heartedly steamed back to work, wondering what the future could spell for him. Meanwhile, I was asleep. Zebedee and Zack were really in tramp steam. The weather that morning was unusually breezy, and the waves were very choppy. But it took more than that to worry the gleaming Zed stacks. <laughs> What's so a conquer of a big man's faithful with paws and my lucky's yards? I knew the old fool would stand a chance. If he keeps this in, we can very well be the leader of the Zed stacks. Excuse me. You mind concentrating on getting me into four? I'm not liking this weather one bit. Oh, Snoopy, this is nothing. We said stacks are the strongest stuff. Yeah. Well, unless it's concrete, you better get a move on, Zed Stacks. This wind's getting worse by the minute. God, he's right. Come on, Zeb, let's roll. Struggling hard, Zebedee and Zack began towing the tramp steamer towards the safety of the harbour. But with the cross currents and high winds, it was proving very difficult to tackle. Come on, Sam! Push harder! I am pushing. The wind's too strong. Put your back into it. Full steam. Come on. Oi! Watch out! Watch out! But it was no use. The strong currents were forcing the tramp steamer off course, which surged hard into Zack. Suddenly, Zack lost control. He was swept by a bow in a hunting ship and ran aground into the mud flats where he was stuck fast. Zack, Zack, where are you? Over here! I'm stuck! Stuck? You can't be. You got a ship to take you. But well, I can't move right now, can I? You had to do it yourself. Me? Him? No, we slipped. We're already in the star, There's no way we've got to get again. Somebody tried hard, but he couldn't move the trap roller. Between the fierce winds and the rough waves, he eventually admitted defeat and had no choice but to go for help. Wait, you. Drop anchor and stay here. I'll go back to Big City and find another tug. Don't move. I wasn't planning on moving anyway. Just hurry up. With the tramper secure for the moment, Zebedee fought his way back into the harbor to find help. To his dismay, the first tug he found when he arrived back wasn't who he'd been hoping for. Oh, yeah. Anyone but him. It's supposed to risk it. They're saving the fleet anyway. Somebody swallowed his pride and hurried off towards the coal depot, where Big Mac was born, fueling himself up with a fresh supply of coal. He wasn't entirely eager when he saw Zebedee hurrying towards it. Hey, Big Mac, hey, Big Mac. Oh, it's you. If you've come to laugh, then do your worst. I don't care anymore. No, it's not that. Zach's the trouble. If I had a grand ball time, we could trap back. If I need help, bring him in. I'll see what I can do. Lead the way, then. The two tugs hurried away back out to sea. Big Mac realized that Zebedee was telling the truth. The further out they went, the rougher the sea grew. They eventually reached the 
the trap gun, but not a moment too soon. Gracious me, that ship's bobbing around a lot. What a sack. He's still on the boat for it. We need to get the trap room first. Right, all then. Zebedee, you take the lead, and I'll handle the side push. Yeah, what's he doing here? All three of okay now, Zebedee. No shit, Rick. Chill with you. He does put a lift ice cream. Right. Ready, Zebedee? I'm ready. Here goes. Alone in the eye of the storm, Zebedee and Big Mac struggle hard to get the trapper to stop rocking. But the storm seemed to be trying to prevent them. Big Mac was determined not to give in and gave a tremendous effort. You're not reaching me. Ah. To Zebedee's surprise, as well as his own, Big Mac began to move the ship back on course. He didn't know how he was doing it, but he decided to keep going for hope. Fighting against the current, they battled their way against the winds of the choppy seas. After what seemed like forever, the winds finally died down and the waters began to calm. Look, we did it. 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 Big Mac being proud. He finally felt like his old self again and continued helping Zebedee bring in the trapper. The other tugs couldn't believe their eyes when they saw him. I see. Is that Big Mac? With Zebedee? Yeah, it looks like it. Good on you, Big Mac. You showed him, didn't you? Eh? <laughs> oh, don't believe him, Zebedee. What's the meaning of this? Where's Zach? <laughs> well, it's things have got to rescue him. Don't worry, Zebedee. I'll give you a hand. I've more than enough strength now to handle anything again. After they docked the trapper, they went back for Zach where Big Mac hauled him carefully off the mud flat. None the worse for his misadventure. Oh, 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 that's better. God, we had Colonel sitting there. Oh, well, these things happen to the best of us. Not a bad day's work for the shipwreck, yeah, fellas? Uh, yeah, well, thank you. Oh, we something Guess you're not ready for a time with arms to hold, then. Ah, uh, not by a long shot, that's for sure. Besides, I couldn't stand by feeling sorry for myself while I let you two lose another cargo load. I don't think Captain Zero would be very forgiving if that happened, uh, would he? Zebedee and Zack said nothing. To Big Mac, it was more than enough to gain his victory. He and Zebedee helped Zack to lock his yard for repairs, and then returned triumphantly back to the Star Dock, where he was received to a hero's welcome. Well done, Big Mac. Right. Do you still have a video? Yeah, you were great. Yeah, something marvellous, old boy. I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean old as in old. I meant... Ah, uh... oh, that's okay, Top Hat. I'm not bothered by that anymore. I guess what I needed was a little boost to my confidence. And nothing does that than hearing of a ship in distress. I don't care if I'm as old as OJ. Hi, you watch it, boy -o. So long as I've still got steam in my boiler, then I'll always be useful. True words never spoken, Big Mac. You did a spectacular job in helping out the Z-Stacks. Oh, thank you, sir. Like I said, I guess I needed something to boost my confidence to get my strength back. <laughs> More like a cleaner supply, I think. What do you mean? I received your damage report from Lucky's earlier. It turns out your performance yesterday was all down to a bad batch of coal which affected your engine and stopped you making steam. That was why you were constantly sparking. Turns out the coal depot had a few complaints about it and has only just received a better supply this morning. So, does that mean Big Mac? I took that new coal this morning. I wondered why it wasn't as dusty as usual today. Big Mac never worried about getting old again. Even if he did show signs of age, he knew he'd still be useful no matter what. And I was proud of him. But since that day, I made sure I always ordered a fresh supply of coal to prevent incidents such as this ever happening again.